Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is another beer from Terrapin. This is their Up High IPA, so this is a Citra Dry Hopped IPA. And so yeah, let's dig into it. Uh, the beer comes in at 5.9%, so a little tiny little beer, uh, quite fresh. Let's dig into it. Now, we really enjoyed the last one, which was Hopsecution, which is actually pretty good. So uh, this beer comes in a deep gold uh, color with a you know, medium to deep gold color, has a little bit of uh, a medium to medium minus haze to it on the nose. Before we rudely interrupted, it had a, it had a nice head on it. Yeah, um, I feel like I sense a little bit of oxidation, but this was the best buy. That's about like three months away, so it might be actually already a three month old can. I will say that like I am finally learning what oxidation smells like thanks to Darwin. Yes, and do you get that on the nose? I do. Yeah, so I it's do. like paper bags, right? Paper bags. Not really. And then the other hint that you can learn is that it should smell like an IPA. And then you're telling this like, where's the fruit? Where's the pine? I think the... I think I almost interpret the paper bag smell to be more of um, an apple cider vinegar i think that's what the acv is because there's been a couple of reviews now where you say paper bags i say apple cider vinegar but apple cider vinegar is sour so what do you you get apples? i don't know what it is mm. i don't know cheers Maybe you guys supposed to love what you guys get in uh oxidation but mm. yeah yeah a little bit oxidated yeah. i do get that same flavor i do um again the same note that i also get is like i should taste fruit mm. citra tropical pineapple something I, like, I do pick up citra and pineapple, though. I'll say that. No, no, but you should get that. I don't get any of that. I get that. Oh, you do get a little bit of fruity I do. quality. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the back end, there's also a little bit of a cantanic thing. There's just, like, eating cardboard. Like, poor handling. I don't know what happened. Because this has been in the fridge. We got it from a place that uh, sits their beers in the fridge. Uh, poor handling or something. Because it is quite oxidated. There's nothing hoppy about this. And again, it's... I mean, I, I I'm taste... I'm not reading wrong. This is three months away from Best Buy. I taste some notes of Citra. Citra is one of my most favorite hops. It's one that I can definitely pick out in most beers that I try that actually have Citra. Um, I do taste the Citra. However, I do taste the paper bag. Yeah. It's just a light kind of uh, hoppy beer that just passes prime. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your final impression and rating? Uh, I wish I could have tried this fresh. I know, me too. I wish I, because I, I feel like fresh. This actually has like a really good approach. Yeah, it's not that multi. Um, right, right, right. I feel like fresh, this would be a really good one. Yeah. And um, hopefully we can pick up a can or a bottle fresh. Yeah. Um, hmm, I hate to rate it because it's not fresh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say. It's a little bit of zesty fruit quality, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. I get some like zesty. Grapefruit definitely. Uh, lemon thing going on. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some grapefruit, grape peel, a grapefruit peel. Yeah. Um, you know, but there's also yeah, you can definitely taste the the oxidation. Yeah. So I would go ahead and I think I'm gonna give this like a shoot because I really wish this was fresh. Um, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna give this like an 84. 84. That's high, no? Yeah. You drink this. It's not terrible. Over... It's really not bad. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'll say that. And I so think it's a B. I, I neglected to say that this isn't terrible. Yeah. Um, I think fresh, it would be even better. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 80. Okay. Um, sure. It's not bad. Okay. It just wish it was fresh. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Like interruption. A... Interruption. Uh oh. Um. Pardon the interruption. Uh, this for me, I mean, it's hard. It's just like the beer's not terrible. It's not terribly, terribly oxidated. And then there's like a decent beer underneath it. There's a little bit of that light kind of like um. Uh, a uh, toasty bread thing, you know, not quite to lightly toasty bread thing. Malt, but a little bit of like zingy kind of like uh, espressive oils, uh, floral element in here. But I'm very surprised at how, how this beer can not hold up. So, hey, you post your can that you can post it uh, within three, another three months of Best Buy. It, I pulled this from the fridge. I know for sure, for sure that store only keeps their beer, uh, beers in the fridge. And so this for me gets a... Jeez, um, 67, 67, I don't know. low, really? I don't think it's All the way from off camera, fine. Um, 73, 73. 73. I, I just don't like this it's all flavor. It's not as bad as some of the beers we had. It's definitely not as bad as White Claw. White Claw's better than this, no? No. I'm just gonna stick to a 73. You guys understand my reasoning. 
Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.